You're looking for a good alternative to the Mac Studio Display? You don't have the money to spend for that? I got two alternatives that are super cool, elegant, and you're gonna like them. Let me show you what I found. All right, welcome back to the channel. So, number one, I get it. If you want the Apple Studio Display and you're that kind of person that needs it for professional work and you wanna spend 1600 bucks and you wanna spend 400 bucks on the stand, do it. I mean, it's, it's a tight package, it's a good monitor, it's 5K, it's probably gonna be price comparable to other ones that are out there for 5K for what you get. Again, get it if you need it. This is not what this video is all about. But if you're like the rest of us that can't spend 1500 bucks or 400 bucks on a stand, and you want something you know that's gonna be in that price range of less than half that, but still look super elegant. I mean, people that have Mac setups want them super clean. They want their desk to look clean. They want it to look like it's all combined. They don't want a black plastic monitor with their nice Mac setup. And I understand that, trust me. People buy like a Louis Vuitton purse over a little leather purse for various reasons. I don't know if I get that, but at the end of the day, I do get the Mac setup. Even gaming setups sometimes are like that as well. So you gotta, you know, people, people want that elegant look. And so these monitors are super cool. I'm gonna show you them. And they're gonna have actually more features, I think, maybe, well, maybe not more, but they're gonna have comparable features to the studio display. They're only gonna be 4K. But what do you expect? One's actually 32 inches and one is going to be 27. So that's really cool. And I, all their stands are going to do this. So stay with me. I'm going to show you what you can get for less than half. That's going to be super elegant. And also, one, the first one I'm going to show you is going to be coming available here in a couple weeks and it's going to be awesome. And I'm going to have a link to it in Amazon, but you can't buy it yet, but come back later you can. The other one's going to be a little harder to get for USA residents, but the rest of the world can get it very easily, like Canada and Europe. But if you do your due diligence, you can probably get this shipped in, So, and it's really cool too. So stay tuned, sit back, and relax. I'm going to show you what these monitors are. These are probably some of the best, most elegant monitors for your Mac setup, uh, Apple setups. Let's get into it. All right, number one comes in at 699 bucks. Think about this, 699, and look what you're gonna get here. This first one is actually called, it's by Samsung, it's 32 inches. Great, great size, right? 32 inches, that's what we're all asking for with Apple to come out with. And it's called the Smart Monitor M8, so it's the M8 by Samsung Smart Monitor. And right off the bat, it comes with, the reason it's so cool for the Mac, I think they designed it kind of for the Mac is because of the color schemes. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and play this video over here. Let's just introduce the monitor first, the M8, coming out soon. Look over here, um, I'm gonna share my screen. Look at the colors and you'll be shocked here. So it comes in pink, you can see this green color, this blue color, and then white is super elegant. As clean as anything, you can see the warm white there. Now, let me know what you guys think, right? But that is actually what I'm gonna tell you is, you know, obviously those colors look familiar, right? So at the end of the day, this is gonna be 32 inch monitor. It's got 4K um, AirPlace, two support USB-C connectors on the back. It's got four colors, obviously 16.9 is the aspect ratio, 60 Hertz only, but that matches obviously the Apple Studio. HDR 10 plus support, take that with a grain of salt. It's got a webcam, you'd love that. 400 nits, so brightness is still high. 99% um, RGB and 2.2 uh, channel speakers. It's got speakers built in. So look over at my screen again. Here it is, and this is right from the Samsung website. I'm gonna get into this in a second, but it comes with some really cool features. Actually, before I go here, I'm gonna go over here and show you. So what I like is, look at this setup right here. This is the white setup. I think this is the best, most elegant for like your studio, you know, Mac Studio or something. You can see it right here. Look how cool this is. And uh, as we go back, this is what comes in the box. And if you can take a look, it's got your Visa mount, it's got your stand, and I'll show you in a second, it is height adjustable. It's got a webcam module. So in the back of this thing, it's got the pogo pins and you can actually, it comes in the box, a cool webcam, which I'll show you. But the back is pure white. And it also comes with the remote down here. You can see it down here. But um, so long story short, it comes with a lot of cool features for 699, including 4K. Um, just want to show you the side of it is you know you know it's about the same thickness as the the studio display, and uh, you know here's some other shots of it. Here's the stand adjusting up and down. You can see it perfectly there. So if you want to do that, that's included. No 400 bucks. And then there's the actual you know this is the module that you can actually take off and put on. It just snaps right on, and it's a it's a really good webcam supposedly. You can take it off when you don't need it, so it doesn't show like that, but it's got a good quality because it's pretty big and you can see kind of the, the focal length and all that stuff included in it, although I haven't been able to test it. So there it is again. You can see how clean that setup is on a white desk, maybe with silver or something like that. 
um, and just wanted to show you guys kind of the, the differences here as far as some what, what, it, what this looks like. Um, there's the remote you can see obviously you know it's going to have a lot of features built into the remote which you guys can do your own research on. I'm not, that's not what I'm here for. Um, so if we go over here though let's just kind of go down this list really quickly. You can see obviously there's a great shot of the green color as well. I just super elegant. I, I you know it looks very similar to the studio display. And then there it is obviously again just showing you the different colors. Um, so if we go back in here though, you can see the back. There's another shot of the webcam. And uh, let me just keep scrolling down here. Let's see what we can find. There's the webcam there. Um, so long story short, let's just see if we can find it. The one thing I'm trying to find here is just the back of it. And uh, I don't know if I can find the back, but it's just showing a lot of the, the, the different colors here. It all right, so you can see here on Amazon, it's $6.99. It says it's gonna be available on April 18th, so a couple weeks away. And I wanted, the reason I wanted to show you this, I'll have a link to this in the description, but the reason I wanted to show you this is just because of the fact that here are the connections on the back. It's got a micro HDMI. It's got in two USB-C ports. So those are kind of the connections that you can use for the device. Again, I'm not going to be doing a full review here. Here's the, here's the module for the camera. I'm not going to be doing a full review, but all this stuff comes included in this. And it's all for the $699 price, which makes this a very attractive package. So overall, I think this is a really good you know, solution for most people. Um, we'll see. I mean, time will tell. Once it comes out, there'll be more reviews on it and stuff like that. But overall, I think this is a great choice. All right, the next monitor is going to be by Huawei, and it's basically going to be, I don't know if I said that right, but Huawei. Um, they got kind of banned by the United States, so it's a little bit harder to get in the United States. But what this is, it's going to be about 809, 898 Canadian, that comes out to about 717 USD. And this is what they call the Huawei, I can't say it, Huawei. Mate view is what the name of the monitor is. And I'm gonna go ahead and there's some really special features here I'm gonna show you. So here's the picture of it. You can see it up on my screen. Um, it's 4K again. This is 27 inch, 3.2 is the crazy thing. So it's got a 3.2 layout, which we'll get into, which gives you a lot more screen up and down. Totally unique. It's got, um, let me see here, HDR supposedly support, although we don't know. Wireless projection, smart bar tech, which we'll get into. 94% screen to ra you know, body ratio. Um, and then it's got the uh, P3 color gamut and 10 bit color, it's claiming 65 watt charging on this thing. But this one does have a built in speaker as well, height adjustable stand. It's got this kind of cool slider, which I'll show you. Just everything about this monitor is really cool. So here's the look of it. You can see it right here. It's made in that silver speakers on the very front of it on the grill. Again, 4K, you can see some of the stats there as I scroll down. But 3.2, you can see the size of how this is right here. So as we scroll down this, um, you can see though the design. Let me see if I can get a little bit better picture of the design actually. So here it is. I mean, it's, you know, you can see it. It's just basically all screen. And then at the very bottom, it's gonna have a speaker stand. Um, like right there is a good shot of it. So here's where the speakers are. And it has a ton of real estate up and down. So if you're doing like web page, you know, just viewing web pages and stuff like that, it's, it's gonna be a very cool screen to work off of. Um, on this side of it, you can see it's gonna have some connectors on the front of it, which is really nice, so it's not always on the back. It's got a ton on the back as well, but on the side of the actual stand, you can see next to the speaker, there's a n number of connectors there as well. And uh, let me just keep going down here, see if we can get some more stuff. So this is explaining, you know, if you look at my screen, it's explaining the, you know, the, the 16.9 versus their 16.9, and this is gonna have that much more real estate in the 3.2. You can see the difference there. So again, it's gonna have a weird aspect ratio, but if you like this kind of stuff, if you just love to you know, look at web pages and stuff, this is a really good monitor for that. Um, and again, there's a good picture of the speaker grill there. So again, this is made obviously for their products. I mean, it's gonna have an instant connect with their phones and stuff like that, but obviously, it, it, you, know, you can you know, use this for a Mac as well. It says it's compatible with that. Um, and uh, the speakers are built into the stand, like I had mentioned before. How good they're gonna be, you gotta test them. A lot of people say they're fairly good, obviously, but you're gonna probably wanna get a second pair as well there. Um, so there's another good, how clean look this thing is, is it's that silver color matches perfectly the Mac, you know, whatever you wanna put in there, MacBook, Mac uh, Studio, you know, Studio is gonna look perfect with this type of a setup as well. For video editing too, it's gonna give you a little bit more room up and down for, you know, obviously if you have different layering and stuff, which would work really well for me, I might, you know, maybe I'll pick one of these up, I'm not sure yet. 65 watt charging power is in here as well. At the very bottom, you can see here, it's got this little slider. It's kind of like a, it's, it's not a, it's, you know, basically you just slide it like this. It's kind of almost like the touch bar. Um, you can see a picture here. That's kind of their claim to fame and how you know cool and elegant this is. It's not, it's just kind of a 
capacitive, I guess is what they call it, to make changes to the monitor as far as brightness and stuff. Um, so, but you can see the idea behind this. So this is going to be a monitor that's going to allow you 4K video editing. Here's a good shot of it. Here's a shot of the stand going up and down as well. Um, so that's something that Apple obviously does not have on theirs without spending the extra 400 bucks. And uh, that's just showing you some examples here of how that works online. So anyways, it does get pretty high. It gets pretty low. It looks like it's a, you know, maybe a couple inch difference as far as the height in the stand, which is really nice. And you can see kind of, you know, how they actually created it behind the scenes. So anyways, here's a couple more shots of how it looks on a desk and how it would look next to a Mac. Um, ports in here, let me just go through the ports really quickly as well. So the ports is going to have on the side two USB-A, which is cool, one USB-C and a 3.5 millimeter jack. And then on the back, it's going to have a USB-C again, and it's going to have a mini display port, and then finally HDMI. So it's got a lot more ports on this as well versus the first M8 monitor that I just showed you. Um, overall, though, you get the idea. I just wanted to kind of give you the idea of what this is. So these are two monitors you may want to pick up if you're kind of interested in this stuff. Check them out. I'll have links in the description. I'll have one to Amazon for the second one, or actually for the first one. Second one you can't buy again in the United States on Amazon. You can buy the Canadian Amazon. They have a link to that if you want, if you're in Canada. Somehow you can get them shipped in probably from Alibaba or something if you really want to kind of sidestep that, that ban on the products from Huawei. But anyways, Hope you guys like these videos. I'm just showing people what's available out there. And at the end of the day, you know, that's what this is all about, is saving some money. I love to find things that are going to be you know, interesting. And maybe I'm going to pick one of these up. Probably will. And do a full review soon. So let me know what you think. And uh, we'll go from there. I, you know, I'm, the more I think about it, the more I am probably going to pick one of these up. So stay tuned for that in the future. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.